this short video, I'll demonstrate the commands for compiling a Java program at the command line and other related skills necessary for Computer Science 103. First of all, we need to be able to navigate the Unix file hierarchy using relative paths or absolute paths, listing the contents of a directory and compiling a program. We need to be able to modify the program using a text editor such as a VI or Emacs. And the up arrow is very helpful for retrieving previously typed commands. The more command will display the contents of a file. And here we can see the driver, which will create three integers per line and create a brick and print its volume. We execute the program and we need to know how to enter numbers at the command line. to terminate standard input. In Unix, it's control D. The cat command is a shortcut for creating a quick text file. Then Unix redirection lets us provide that text file. To the program. And the results are printed to standard output. The script command is helpful when you want to create a file showing the compilation and execution of your program. And when you exit, a new file called TypeScript is created, which you can print and submit as evidence of your finished assignment. Creating new directories is easy, and being able to move files to different directories. Now if we try to run brick driver, we won't be able to find the brick class and get to class not found exception. So we need to know how to use the class path argument on the Java command to refer to another directory, as well as the current directory. It's also helpful to know how to create a jar file containing class files. And how to use a jar file as an external library. That should get you going for most purposes uh, in Computer Science 103. Uh, one other command that's helpful is to be able to run uh, JUnit tests from the command line. Uh, 
So let's get some data tests. And we'll do that with another handy command called wget, which is a quick way to retrieve a file off the internet. Here's our JUnit test file. To compile it, we need to refer to the JUnit jar file, which on the CSL Unix system is located in this directory. Thank you for watching this short video.